Welcome to MSPTDA video number 17. Hey, we got to talk about Power BI Online and exactly what are dashboards, reports, workbooks, and data sets. Now, this is exactly what it looks like. One, two, three, four items when we go to Power BI Online. Now, in last video number 16, I used the word dashboard loosely. And luckily, our online teammates, Pa and Hachi, said, hey, dashboards has a very specific meaning when we publish our Power BI report. Now, last video we published from within the Power BI desktop file, and that brought us to PowerBI.com. Later, if you want to go back, you can go to PowerBI.com. And it will ask you to sign in. Or if you have an organization, you can use your organization page. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Then in the upper left-hand corner, whichever Office 365 app you have open, you can click. And there's your list of apps. If you don't see it, you say All Apps. I scroll down, and there I see Power BI. Click. We can see app.powerbi.com home. Over here, my workspace. And if you click the drop down, you should see the file that we posted during last video, video number 16. Now at powerbi.com, looking at what we published last video, this is a dashboard. But really, we want to refer to it as a tab or a page. So if I go over to the fiscal report page, I have my set of visualizations. Now, to show you the four key areas, I'm going to click on My Workspace. And there they are, Dashboards, Reports, Workbooks, and Data Sets. Now, Dashboards, we'll see how to create this in just a moment. Reports, these are all of your reports, like our Power BI desktop file we published last video. That's a list of all the reports in this workspace. Workbooks, I've uploaded two Excel workbooks. I'll show you how to upload an Excel workbook in just a moment. And then these are the various data sets, either from an Excel data model or a Power BI desktop data model. Now, workspaces. We're going to click and create app workspace. We're going to name this MSPTDA. You can decide whether it is public or private. I'm going to say public. Members can edit or only view. I'm going to say edit. Add Workspace Members. Click Add. Now I can click Save. Over here, there's our new workspace, Dashboards, Reports, Workbooks, Data Sets, and Data Flows. Now we're going to upload the report from video 16 into this workspace. If I click Publish, it'll ask me what destination. I'm going to say MSPTDA Select. Now I'm in the Excel Magic Trick 1366, which really was how to use Power BI. And I'm going to publish this. I'm going to save it to the same workspace and select. Now this is the finished Power Pivot file from video 15 in this class. I've renamed it. But here, in Excel, we can actually publish and view the data on each sheet. File down to Publish. And we have two options when we want to publish to Power BI. The first option, upload your workbook to Power BI. This will let you see the data on each sheet, but does not import the actual data model. This version, export workbook data to Power BI, uploads the data model. And then we can build reports using Power BI Online. Now we'll do this one first. Notice that's the correct location to load it. I'm going to click Upload. I can see down here in Excel that's a strange place to say the status. And then up here, go to Power BI. Now before I do that, I'm going to go back up and publish this again a second time. Now I'm going to click Export, which will export the data model. So I'm going to click Export. Down here, it's working. Now I'm going to finally click Go to Power BI. Now over here on the left, if I click the drop down, I don't have the dashboard yet. But I have my two reports. There's the uploaded workbook. I can actually click on it. And this is Excel Online. But I'm allowed to interact with this tab named Dashboard. I click Be Beginner. 
And then here's our two data sets. Now if I click on MSPTDA, there's the dashboard, which we'll create in just a second. There's our reports. There's our workbook. That's just the Excel file uploaded for us to view in Excel Online. The data sets, we have one, two from Power BI, and one from Excel. And now we want to create a dashboard. If I come over to Reports, I'm selecting a particular Power BI report. I select a particular tab. Then I go up to Pin Live Page. And this is where I can create a dashboard. I'm going to say New Dashboard because I don't have any here. We'll call this Two Tab Dashboard because we're going to have a different tab or page from two different Power BI reports. Click Pin Live. And now I can see my dashboard over here. There's a single item. Now over to my other Power BI report. I'm going to select a particular tab, Pin to Live Page. This time I want to say Existing. There it is, Pin. And now over here, this is cool. I have a dashboard that I can interact with. And I can scroll down and interact with a completely different page or tab from a completely different report. Both of these pages are connected to two different data sets. So a dashboard over here in PowerBI.com is a place to pin pages or tabs. And the dashboard can contain pages from different reports or different data sets. Now a couple other cool things here. If we go over to Data Sets, this is our Excel file that we created. We can actually create a Power BI report. So I'm going to click Create Report. And there it is, my visualizations, my fields, my blank canvas. Double click. I called it Rev and Cost of Goods Sold. Column, Product, and two measures, Total Revenue and Total Cost of Goods Sold. Now I have one page or one tab. Now I could go to File Save, but I'm going to use Control S. And we're going to name this. And this creates a new report based on our Excel file. Save. And now under Reports, look at that. I have a report using Power BI, but based on an Excel data set, and then these two published reports. So Dashboards, a collection of tabs or pages from various reports. Here's our list of published reports. There's our Excel workbook, which we can view. And there are our data sets. All right, that's a little bit more about Power BI Online. Our next video, video number 18, will be about DAX iterators, DAX table functions, and granularity. And then video number 19 will be all about the calculate function. All right, we'll see you next video.